think I can finish this project if I wait a week. And then I apply to do a test knit because I love test knitting. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Do So Knits YouTube channel. My name is Kristen and I'm a knitter and military spouse living in Germany with my family. If you're new here, Do So Knits is my YouTube channel where I share with all of you guys how knitting has interwoven into my life. Today's video is episode 19 of my Do So Knits podcast where I share with you guys my finished objects and what works in progress I have been working on and maybe some future knitting as well. If you would like to connect with me in other places, I am Do So Knits here on YouTube, Instagram, and Ravelry. And then the show notes for this episode, they are always on my website, dosonits.com. And there you can find links to the patterns, the yarns, the needles I'm using. Basically, everything should be there along with links to my Ravelry project pages if you would like to see those as well. So with that, we can talk about a little bit what's been going on. So I did skip the episode last weekend. I usually record every two weeks for the podcast, but last weekend I was just feeling a little, I don't know, I don't feel like I have too much to share knitting wise. I feel like I haven't made a lot of progress. I'm trying to work on the same projects right now and overall I just kind of feel like I didn't have that much to show you and I needed just a little bit of a break. So I took last weekend off but i am here to talk to you guys this week i'm excited um my feelings kind of haven't changed over the fact that i don't feel like i have a ton to share with you guys i'm working on a lot of the same projects that i was working on in the previous podcast episode but i wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of where i am i also wanted to share with you guys a little giveaway that I have going on right now so we can pop into that first. If you did not check out my last stash in and stash out video, it was for the month of April. I will pop it up in the clickable, clickables up here if you would like to check it out. But in that video, I am doing a giveaway for my last knit crate subscription that I got in the mail. I'll give you a little sneak peek of the yarn that's in there. So this is the skein of yarn that I am giving away. It is Audine Wool's Cloud Sock. It is a blend of merino wool, mohair, and nylon. So if you would like to enter in for this giveaway, make sure you pop over to that stash in and stash out video, watch to see how to enter, and then that will be going through next Friday, May 21st. So make sure you enter by then and then I will be notifying the winner of this lucky skein of yarn and all the other goodies that come in the knit crate bag. Other than that, the last couple weeks since my last video, we'll say not too much has been going on. Work's been keeping me busy. It's been a lot of fun. It's a really busy season for where I work right now. So it's been a lot, but it's been really great. Um, the weather is also finally turning nice. I have the big bay window right here and it's letting in some light even though it is seven o'clock right now in the evening. So that makes recording a little bit easier because I have a little more daylight I can play with to hopefully make sure the lighting's okay. So when I come chat to you guys, you can see the yarn in all of its beautiful glory. So I've been really enjoying the weather and the sun coming out. It's still Germany and it's still very much the weather changes day to day. There's rain and random days that it hails for 10 minutes and then it will be sunny the rest of the day. It can't make up its mind, but it is a uh, spring in Germany. I did plant my seedlings last weekend. So I'm starting some cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, spinach, got a couple herbs started as well. So hopefully those will, uh, catch on and hopefully I can have a little bit of a garden going as the weather warms up. But other than that, not a whole lot has been happening. I've been trying to do my knitting as I come home after work and 
This is making a little bit of progress on these projects. And if you're ready, I can show you guys what I've been working on. I do have a couple of finished objects to share this week. So the first finished objects I would like to share are some scrappy stripy vanilla socks that I finished up. So these I started as part of Scrappy Sunday. I wanted to use some of my leftovers from, these are all from my painting bricks, um, shawl that I made by Stephen West. I had a good amount of all these colors left, so I thought they might make some fun stripy socks. So these are shorty socks, and then I did a striped pattern throughout them. And so all the yarn is Cascade Heritage Solids. The dark is the colorway Night. The other two, it is a Jade and Dusty Turquoise. I think Jade is the more green and Dusty Turquoise is the lighter blue. So I did five rounds for the cuff and then a couple rounds before doing a German short row heel. And I've not worn them. I think next time I might do a little bit of a longer cuff just to um, give myself a little more room. But overall, I'm really excited for these. The yarn is really, really soft. I actually enjoyed knitting socks out of this yarn a lot more than I did working on my painting bricks. When I was working on my painting bricks, the yarn felt very splitty. I felt every time I was going to knit I really had to watch my knitting because otherwise my needle would go straight through the yarn. I don't know if that's one I was using my Addies on these since it's a little bit of a rounder and less sharp that might be why I was having less trouble but definitely enjoyed knitting the shorty socks a bunch. So I do have both. I'm very excited about these. I was inspired by Fiber for the People with her stripey socks to knit myself some and I think these are going to be a lot of fun and I may be working on a lot more of these in other striping color combinations. So after finishing my scrappy stripey vanilla socks, I did finish another pair of socks. So these are vanilla socks for my husband Shane. And so these were my Desert Vista Dye Work socks for the month of April. If you watched my stash video, you probably already saw these because I do share them in that. I did finish these. So my Desert Vista Dye Work socks, it's in her Viso base. And this is one of her variegated colorways because a lot of times she does self-striping. This was Aphromov's His Way Home. And I love how these turned out. I think overall they look very painter-esque and they're so much fun. So these I knit for Shane. There is 10 rounds of a 2x2 two two cuff and then the normal leg. I think I knit to about 6 inches for him and then I did a German short row heel, knit the foot to whatever his length is and then a round toe. Yes. So I absolutely love these. I think they look amazing. For him, I do 64 stitches. I had actually started at, actually, so I started these with 64, but my gauge is a little loose, so I actually switched to 60 for the rest of the sock after about 20 rounds at the top of the leg because I was just noticing my gauge a little off and I didn't want to necessarily rip out the entire sock, so I just decreased some and then kept going. But yeah, I really like these. I think he's been eyeing them because I haven't let him warn them because of uh, need to record the podcast. I blocked them, got them on the blockers for you guys to share. And yeah, overall, I really like these. For the socks, I only used 56 grams total. So I think I'll definitely be able to squeeze out a pair of shorty socks for myself. This colorway is so cute. I love them. I love them so much. Okay, so those two pairs of socks are the socks that I have to share with you this week. Those are the only finished objects that I have, but I have a lot of works in progress to share with you guys as well. One of them I cannot share. I did start a new project, but it is a bit of a secret. I cannot share it with you guys just yet, but I promise when I do show it, you guys are going to love it. It is absolutely amazing. It has been an addictive and 
super fun knit project. So I am very excited to show you guys that. It'll probably be on the next podcast episode. I don't exactly remember the exact date. I'm hoping the next episode I'll be able to share with you, but I promise as soon as I can, I will. And you guys, I hope you love it because it's been so much fun to work on that project. But I will stop teasing you since I can't share it with you yet. And I will go with the projects that I can. So the first project I want to share with you is living in this little tiny canvas tote bag. And these are my Desert Vista Dyewort socks for the month of May. So if you're unfamiliar, I'll mention it very quickly. Desert Vista Dye Works is a dyer. She dyes a lot of self sharpening yarn and every month she hosts a knit along to where if you knit a pair of socks using her yarn within the month, you get entered in for discounts and prizes for her year long knit along. So I've been doing that this whole year so far. We are on the fifth month. I've done so well to keep up and it makes me very excited that I've been able to keep up and it's just been a lot of fun. It's a good way to use and kind of to use my sock yarn and to like build up a little bit of vanilla socks into my wardrobe, into my sock drawer because I had been knitting a lot of like pattern socks which are fun and amazing to work on but sometimes the vanilla socks are very addictive and great for on the go and just great to have in my sock drawer. So I did start my May socks and I feel like I've made decent progress. I started these last Monday and I'm past the foot or the heel and a good chunk of the way on the foot because these are going to be for myself. So this yarn is Desert Vista Dive Works Viso. The colorway is Pumpkin Spice Zombody. So it's a nice self striping and it's got these fun alternating speckled colors throughout and then this colorway actually came with a mini skein which is what i'm using for the heels and the cup and the the heel and the cuff and i will be using for the toe i'm knitting these on my nine inch circulars i use addy sock wonders they are my go-to nine inches i've not tried chiao gu but i did try high high sharps um, they weren't necessarily my favorite, but I do love these Addies. And then for the heel, you can kind of tell it's not necessarily a heel flap and gusset, because it's not. I did a German short row heel, which is becoming one of my favorites to knit. It's just been... Heel flap and gussets sometimes to me just feel tedious and the extra stitches, I don't know, something about them feels like it stalls my progress, but the German short row heel just feels fast and intuitive and then I feel like I'm getting back to knitting in the round without having to worry about too many decreases. I do, however, have high arches, so the German short row heels can cause problems with people who have high arches, but there's a thing called a modified heel like a mini heel flap adjustment, I think is what it's called. It's something Mina Phillips has in her patterns. And so what you do is you kind of knit a, knit a mini heel flap and then do the German short row heel and then you'll pick up those stitches and decrease them out. But since it's only like four to five stitches that you pick up depending on how much extra room you need, the decreases go really quick and then you're back to knitting in the round. And I have found these heels fit amazing. I don't have the sliding or they move too much. It is great. They fit better than the afterthought heels that I've made and sometimes I think they're even more comfortable than the heel flap and gusset because sometimes the heel turn if it's too small it doesn't fit my heel correctly. But yeah I'm very excited about these. I started them on Sunday I believe because I wanted to make sure that I had knitting to have during the week for if we go somewhere or during my lunches um and yeah i feel like i've made really decent progress i will say i've not been knitting on my lunches as much as i would like because i've mentioned that that that's kind of a goal is to take the time for myself during the day and knit on my lunch <sighs> i am ashamed to admit that i 
really sometimes skip my lunch. But I'm going to try and take my lunch for myself and actually do a little bit better. Um, with the weather actually warming up, I really have no excuse now. I should just go sit outside and enjoy the sunshine and knit for a bit and listen to an audiobook and just kind of decompress and take a step back. So that is going to be one of my goals again, I think. Because um, you really can get a lot of knitting done in 30 minutes. And I don't know. It's really easy to just go back to work because it's something that I've been doing and just you just keep working. Um, but I know the benefits of taking a lunch and taking the time for yourself, so I really should do that. So, as I'm going to say, I hope that I can actually stick to it this time. Maybe, see, because part of me wants to bring some easy knitting, and then part of me thinks sometimes if I brought something that required a little more thought, maybe I would knit on my lunch a bit longer because I would need to focus through a section before I can set it down. Right now with the simple stockinette, I can just kind of knit for just like a couple minutes and then I can just put it down because I can stop any time. So maybe that's something I should try. But yes, that is where I'm at with my Does It Mrs. Iwerk socks for May. So another project that has been spending a lot of time with me in my backpack that I take with me, I got a new backpack because I've, I don't know, I wanted a backpack to carry my stuff in because I don't really carry a purse and I love it. I love having this new backpack. It's, <laughs> it fits everything really nicely inside and I don't know, it just feels comfortable having it. I, you guys, you don't necessarily care about my backpack, but I love it just so you know. And this has been coming with me in my backpack a lot. So this is my Musselberg hat by Isolde Teague. So this hat is knit as a double brimmed hat. And this is where I'm at. So this little stitch marker is where I was the last time. This is from the Corner of Craft. And I am this far. I got a decent ways. This stitch marker I placed when I was watching the F1 race. I did not move it afterwards. Um, but yeah, I got a good chunk done. This hat basically you start small and you'll increase to the number of stitches that you need. You measure your gauge as you go, so which is nice. And you can kind of play with different yarn weights as well. Um, I've already knit one of these. I knit one for my husband Shane in a blue color from Chromatic Yarns. And now I am knitting him a black one. And I'm knitting it out of Knit Picks palette. And this is how much I have left. So these come in 50 gram skeins. And I'll be using 100 grams total. So the other one is up there. I need to grab it to put in this bag. So this is the label, Knit Picks palette. It's 100% Peruvian Highland wool. And I'm knitting him a black one so that he can wear it to work. I thought it would be a nice basic color for him to have in his wardrobe. And again, it's just been a great on the go. This one is great for when, if we're driving somewhere or we have to sit somewhere for a bit just to wait for people or wait for something. Um, it's been very easy. This is the great when I need to be able to put something down quickly, but want to be able to get some progress done as well. Um, so it's not a lot different than last time. I really do enjoy this hat pattern and it's just been going with me in my backpack whenever we go someplace. I have no real deadline that I want to get that one done by because the weather is getting nicer. So I don't think Shane will be wearing it to work anytime soon. So if it takes a bit longer, that one I'm not as concerned about. It's just nice to have even just if I leave it in my car just so I have something when we go somewhere or if you get caught having to wait somewhere that you weren't explicitly or you weren't expecting to wait at. So good project for that. Not a whole lot different. I do love working with the Knit Picks palette. It just feels really squishy and lovely and I'm glad I stocked up on a couple different colors because I needed a muscle for myself too. 
I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of the project that is living in this bag. This is my bag from Joy in the Stitches. It is her quilted bag. I love this bag, especially with this zipper in the back. So in here is my Sunny Side Drive Socks by Huga Canyon. I was testing this pattern for her. It has since released, so if you're interested, go check it out. I love Huga Canyon's patterns, which you'll know if you've seen any of these videos i am a hooker canyon fan her patterns do her name justice very much hooker and knitting in her patterns i love them so this is the first sunny side drive sock so it's a really nice textured sock with a cable going down the front it's a really easy cable it's only a one stitch over one stitch cross makes it nice and easy with a heel of partridge, heel eye of partridge heel, and then the patterning continues down the front of the sock. Sorry, with filming in this new spot with the new time, I had a hip pause because the sun went behind a cloud and based on the settings that I had, I then got very dark. So still figuring things out. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Like I was saying, these are my Sunnyside Drive socks. Overall, I think they are super cute, super fun. I was saying I did have to set them aside a bit because for some reason my hands were just aching a lot. I don't think it was this pattern. It wasn't that. I had begun doing a little more physical activity, doing some more exercise, and with that using some like more body weight work, like push-ups, etc. using some weights. I think my forearms and wrist were just tired in general. And stockinette projects really called to me and projects like this one, which are amazing and fun to work, but the cables were just hurting and exasperating the pain that I was having in my arms. So I had to set them aside for a bit, but I'm very excited to be working on these again. So with these, I am using this yarn. It is Lena Grossa Melian Belt Tweed. It's color weight blue gray. And this is a it's a virgin wool and nylon blend. It is a German yarn, and it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. And so this is where I'm at with the second sock. So I think I'm very close to about halfway through the leg. And then I'll be starting the heel flap. With these, I had a little bit of a goal to try to do one repeat a day, which only came out to about 20 minutes, I think, maybe less, maybe 15. Um, I was trying to do it in the mornings, but then I kind of switched the times that I was doing my workouts to the mornings instead of in the afternoons, which has been a great decision for me mentally to do it then but it also means I've not had the knitting time in the mornings that I would like. So I think I'll also be trying to get up a little bit early to be able to squeeze a little bit of knitting time in there too. But overall, I adore these socks. I think they are so amazing. It's a great pattern. The yarn is amazing. You can tell I did mess up one little cable here they're supposed to always cross in, and then I did have one cross out, but I could not be bothered to go back and cross that one the right way. So it'll be crossed. It's actually funny because I did the same thing on the second cable on the first sock. Did the exact same thing, but that one I tinked back and fixed, and this time I went, can't be bothered. <laughs> so all good intentions. So yes. That is what these are. I'm using again my Addy 9 inch. I use a US 0, so 2 millimeters. Um, I'm a little bit of a loose knitter, so I typically do go down a bit. And I knit the 56 stitch size because I have size 6.5 to 7 US shoe size, is what I wear for my feet. So I do have small feet. And yeah, so those are those. Not a lot of progress, but hoping to get them finished by the end of the month. The last work in progress I would like to show you guys is living in my 
Mountain State Stitches bag. I love this bag. It's her shawl bag and it's very sturdy and great for these projects. It's just so nice with the handle and it's just very nicely interfaced. And on here I have my little bees and beehives and it just reminds me of spring. I love it. Absolutely love it. So in here is my Coast Along Shawl by Samantha Guvern. I've been knitting this for a little while, but I've been loving every stitch of it. It's just been absolutely perfect. With the little secret project that I've been doing, I did put this as a little bit as a backseat, even though I really wanted to finish it for this episode to show you guys. That was another reason I kind of postponed last week, because I was like, I think I can finish this project if I wait a week. And then I applied to do a test knit because I love test knitting. And yes, and I don't know, deadline's nice and I just want to keep working on this. So it is in here. I will show you it. I have made a ton of progress since the last time I talked with you guys about it. Let me make sure none of my stitches are going to fall off. So this is the front side. This is my shawl. Oh, so where can we hunt down my stitch marker? This is where I was the last time. Look at that. My little avocado. This is where I was right there. And I have knit this entire repeat, this entire section here. And I am on the last, the last lace section of the pattern. And then I will have a garter section to finish it off. Oh, it's really satisfying because this last section, you're essentially shifting the stitches. So this side, this side over here, this side is getting shorter and this side is getting longer as you go. The number of stitches is staying the same, but basically you just keep shifting until this side becomes nothing or very few. And then you do your bind off and it's just very satisfying and I love this pattern. It's so meditative. The garter is really easy to work on. And then once you get to the lace, you're like ready for a bit of lace. So, and like, look how it looks. I absolutely adore this. So here's the beginning. And once it blocks out, it'll be a little flatter. And then this is where you start doing your shift and where I am now. So like I said, I feel very close to finishing. I just have to do, I've done one of the stripes here and then I will have the garter section. The garter section really flies. So I'm knitting these on my Chow Good Enchangeables. They are a US four, so three and a half millimeters. Absolutely love them. Great for this project. And then this yarn I am using, the white, this is Stress Knits Ophelia. It's on her favorite base. So it's an 80%, 80-20 blend. And it's a white with some really simple speckles throughout. This is my main color. It is from Life in the Long Grass. It is their Merino single, so 100% Merino wool. The color white, Cactus Moon Soil. So I've loved how these colors have played together and ha, huh, I, every time I've shown this, I love staring it on the screen. So I hope you guys are excited to see this in its completion and glory because I'm so ready to show it and have, cause I think as the nights get cooler, it'll be perfect. I'm so excited and just look at it. Just look at it. It's this, it's becoming the size that when I'm knitting on it, it feels like a nice, like warm hug when I'm working on it. And uh, I love the contrast in this project so much. So yes, that is where I'm at with that. I've got a lot of progress on it. This is where a lot of my progress went before I started working on the secret that I can't show you yet. But a lot of work and love has gone into this project and I'm so excited for it. And overall, 
that is all of the knitting that I have to share with you guys this week. So like I said, a lot of very similar things to the last episode. I am still working on my daily sweater. I just haven't worked on it in the past two weeks. I have been working also on some scrappy projects on Sundays. Um, but I'll show you guys when I complete them like I did with the stripy socks as well. There was one last thing that I want to share with you guys. A couple of podcasts ago, I did mention that I am lucky enough to be a summer sock camp counselor for Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady. I am working with her in the nine inch cabin and working with you guys. I'll be a part of the Discord groups for the VIP campers and if you ever have any questions, I'm going to be there to help you guys every step of the way. And so with that, I did order some Summer Sock Camp yarn from Desert Vista Dye Works because she did dye up exclusive colorways for K and the camp. They're based on her logos. And so I got both of these. So this is the Summer Sock Camp 2020 colorway because last year I did not order the colorway. And when I was ordering them this year, I thought, might as well, I think. It, I did participate, I just didn't buy this yarn, and since I'm working on the Desert Vista Dye Works year-long knit-along, I thought one of these could be my June color. And then this 2021 colorway could be the July color. So this is the 2021 colorway. I think it's really fun. It's like nice orange and light pinks, blues. It's based on the logo for this year, and I think it looks absolutely cute and stunning. And so these are both her self-striping yarns available for summer stock camp unfortunately the 2020 she has officially retired she's not going to be dying that colorway anymore so if you've missed that i'm sorry it's not available but the 2021 summer stock camp colorway is going to be available throughout the entire summer stock camp um susan from desert vista directs does die to order so it is a little bit of a what is it lead time runway time um, you place your order and you have to, takes a little bit of time for her to dye it and then mail it out to you. But this is available to order through the summer. So if you love it, make sure you grab a skein because this fireside orange is amazing. Yes, I wanted to share those with you guys because I thought they were so much fun. But other than that, that is what I have to share with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to know when I post future videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I hope to be posting a little more content. I want to keep up with the podcast, but I do want to kind of show you guys some other things. So if there's anything you're interested in seeing, like how I store my yarn, how I block socks, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. Um, I do think on Instagram I will be putting up a little question box because for episode 20 I thought maybe playing 20 questions might be fun so we'll see if I get some questions that you guys would like to answer. It could be anything about anything about knitting and about me when I started, what my favorite yarn is, what I how I store things, what I like to do when I'm not knitting. Anything you'd like to know, I think I'm going to put that up on Instagram and then hopefully answer some of those questions on the next podcast episode. But until then, thank you guys so much for joining me today. It really means so much, all the comments and when you guys interact. I love seeing it. The Discord group has been a lot of fun. There's been a lot of chatting happening over there. So if you aren't a part of that, that is another option to connect with other people in the Do So Knits community. But like I said... Until then, I'll see you on the next video. I hope you put a little love into every stitch of your knitting, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye! And then I will be... But I did finish these. Mmm, I see the predicament of my camera placement. It's about 9 inch socket. Nine inch socular, nine inch socular knitting.